viewer is about art in the context of blockchain and NFT and uh, the title Dior is inspired by the one of the paradigms kind of of the, the blockchain space. It, Dior stands for do your own research and it is a complicated world that's new to many and to navigate that um, world without any issues you really need to educate yourself about the space and doing your own research is kind of the first step to prevent that you're making any mistakes that anything happens to you that somebody takes your money out of your wallet and for us it's um, in the context of the exhibition it is an invitation to people to come to Zurich to come to the Löwenbräu to Kunsthalle and to um, do their own research to make themselves familiar with this for many quite a new world um, of art in the context of blockchain and NFT. When curating such a show, the biggest challenge is um, to, to bring such a world that's, uh, that's so lively and so big and has such a, so, so many different faces to bring that in that in a, in a space that's still limited, even though it might be super big. And um, also like to show not only the now, but also where it all comes from. And what we try to do is find a health, healthy balance between the history of how all of this came along and, and how, it, how it might appear today and the artists that are relevant in that space. And um, we have like yeah, three, three to four sections that are more educative and also have a strong historical base. And um, that starts with a histor history wall, an overview of the history by Martin Ostakowski, who I invited to, to work with me. And then I invited Fabian Bies, who created a, a Pippe living room space for us. And where we are standing now, it's um, 24 walls, inspired by the 24 words of a seed phrase and the seed phrase is what gives us access to our to our digital wallet and the digital wallet is basically the piece with, through which we interact with the whole blockchain environment so where we hold our nfts where we have our cryptocurrencies where, through which we buy and sell things and um, we decided to um, create three turnstiles, each consisting of eight walls and dedicate each wall to one project platform artist where we feel that they've been incremental for the development of that space. And through these works, um, people will be able to learn a lot about that space, the art, but also the interaction between the art and the technology. And um, then these, let's say, three more historic sections, they are so, um, accompanied by a lot of projects around them. And one is a, it's a NFTism space by Kenny Schachter. Kenny Schachter, art critic, uh, writer, curator, artist. And um, Kenny has been very early on, like an early adopter of um, this whole potential of NFTs for the art world. And he finds a very healthy balance between also like the pros and the cons. So he's also very critical, but at the same time he's celebrating it. And you also find a strong reflection in his work about the reaction of the art world to this whole thing that's so new to them. And then we do have a crypto glossary, um, which was uh, inspired by a glossary that the Spike Art magazine has done in a e Web3 issue early this year. And we continued working with Adina Glickstein, who has written all the, the text in a very mimetic, ironic way. And we invited an OG artist, like original gangster, so somebody who's been in that space from early on from Mexico, Mojara Gonzalez, to illustrate that. And that's something that you can find in the exhibition space. And later on, we will mint this combination of the illustration and the texts as a, as a crypto glossary and um, bring that on the blockchain through that. And people will be able to collect it as the second NFT edition of Kunsthalle. Um, we also integrated the digital space into the show for the reason that as soon as you talk about digital art, somehow you also start thinking about digital space. And uh, we wanted to show to people the potentials of digital space, especially for, for native three-dimensional works, because somehow it's difficult to bring these works in the physical space, because um, some of them are floating, some of them are turning, and it's almost impossible 
to bring something like that out of the computer in the physical world. And still, you maybe you want to experience it in a, in a way that you would experience a sculpture in a physical space. And um, yeah, so we created that room that you can access through the VR glasses. We also have an open exhibition platform, which um, I think it's, it's very relevant in the context of discussing how you curate in the context of the blockchain. Of course, uh, the blockchain is decentralized and it's about giving people equal access and also um, control over their activities. And a lot of artists are especially happy about that space because they get access by themselves and they don't need to get access, let's say, through art institutions or gallery or the whole art market structure. But of course, as soon as you start creating such a show, you have to select some people over others. And through that platform, which is an artwork by Sebastian Schmieck and Silvio Lorusso, we are trying to kind of to reduce gatekeeping and we are inviting everybody um, to participate in the show by uploading their artworks onto like a pie-like shape and um, which is then live, live streamed into the Kunsthalle shown on a huge LED screen and through that you upload your work and then it immediately shows up in here you become an artist of the show in an unfiltered way. All these artists have in common that they, in their practice, um, the context of blockchain and NFT has a high relevance. So either they've been in that space from early on and, and created works that are historically important that also help to shape that space, to enable things for, for generations to come, or they are very relevant in the, in the here and now. And um, for example, um, we took the decision to exclude artists who um, might be famous in a digital art contest, but never did a lot with in the NFT and blockchain context. Everybody is talking about blockchain and NFT and for a lot of people in the art world it's very new and uh, this might be a great opportunity to get up close and personal with art in this context and also to, to, to start your first collection because we also offer uh, some NFTs to people so there is an interactive project Play Record Mint where you can interact with a generative artwork in front of a screen, trigger changes in that artwork and later, later minted as a, like a collaborative uh, creation between the visitor and the artist and the guys who did the platform for us. The platform is called Play Record Mint. And all these things, I guess, are a very playful, nice way to get into that space. Hey, hey.